This next topic, uh, which is the main topic, the dating game is fundamentally unfair. One in three males under the age of 30 has not had sex in the last 12 months. And I find people hear the term sex and their mind goes different places. I think of it as the key step to an elemental foundation of any society and that is relationship. So in the US, what's happened with online dating is it's amazing for the top 10% of attractiveness of men. It's okay for the top half. It is a disaster for the bottom half. And when I say attractiveness, I mean by very crude metrics. So if your Tinder profile, I went to MIT, I just started a KKR and my Rolex accidentally is visible in my profile picture, and I'm geolocated living in Manhattan or living in uh, Beverly Hills, you're gonna get a massive amount of attention. The bottom half who are not able to express anything other than wealth, which they may not have, are totally shut out of the market. And the knock-on effect here is that we're producing too many of what is the most dangerous person in the world, and that is a young, broken, alone man. When you hear about mass shooters in the US, you know who they are, before you know who they are. So we are producing an enormous cohort of economically and emotionally non-viable men. Man, that is, uh, that's very true. Sad, but it's very true. You know, I, I wanna start off by saying this, you know, there was an old clip that Kevin Samuels did where he talked about how, you know, average women don't want average men right in sort of they you know and then those average men are left kind of sitting themselves sitting there thinking to themselves why am i going to you know invest all this money to go to college or why am i going to go into these other dangerous skilled jobs right you know to provide for a family that i can't have or I can't have access to these women, right? I think it was like last year there was a report, and I talked about this before. There was 125,000 young able bodies between the ages of 25 and 45 that left the construction industry last year, right? There is a shortage. Trust me, I'm in this. I'm in this grind. There is a shortage in that, and I think that those men that he was talking about in the video, particularly have kind of come to a cross world where they're not even trying to attempt to either self-improve or do anything of the nature. And those are the type of men that he's kind of talking about, right? You know, it's unfortunate, uh, but I, I mean, I, I just think that it plays a two-part fold. I think that a lot of people have this fantasy in their mind, especially women, that they have access to a particular type of guy that you've never seen, that you've never met, and that is not in your, uh, you know, in your contact list. You know what I'm saying? You're not even part of any social club or any um, uh, any family sort of connection log, right? And sort of people tend to think that this is going to happen. How many people move out to Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, for a shot to like either end up with a famous celebrity or probably get that lead role? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are shooting dark thinking that possibility, but only a small handful oh, yeah. really across that line. Pretty sure Trev got a couple uh, Hollywood hits out there. <laughs> oh man well check this out man um dude is absolutely right we are breeding a society of omega males right and you know that's way down at the bottom i know people love to people love to call that word beta right but beta is not near the bottom it's not even near the bottom you got delta you got gamma after that and yeah. you have omega at the very bottom and that's what we're breeding right now and um i've seen both sides of it right because i help men and women like with just dating apps different things socially all that stuff and women wake up to hundreds of messages whether they're using you know facebook has a dating situation right now which is really popping if people didn't know um of course tinder and hinge and everything else they have right 
no matter what, women get hits. You don't have to be good looking. You get hits. If you are good looking, you just start eliminating men. You can't even sift through them all because there's literally hundreds, hundreds. So women over, if they have apps for a year, they have thousands and thousands of men that are trying to get at them. They can't possibly take the time to look through all of these. So what happens? They start coming up with dumbass reasons to get rid of dudes. So you can't possibly have any type of vetting process for that, right? Now, men, men don't have anything. You could be that dude. They've compared it. I know I know you're familiar with uh, Purple Pill. Pill. I know you have to because you went into that stuff. And you know when they compared the average, the average woman, just regular degular chick versus a man who would be considered in the top 5%. And the man in the top 5% can't compete with the amount of hits that the average woman gets. So just imagine what this does to a woman's ego, right? If she's getting all these hits, all this validation, she don't even have to get out of her bed. She could just go ahead and put a nice little cute selfie up. Boom. Hits, 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 oh, hits. Yeah. All the emojis possible, right? Everyone you could think of. And DMs, constant DMs, constant DMs constantly getting validation for doing nothing that's why women feel so entitled and they don't care about the average man and we can't get it twisted because these women do have access to some of these ballers to some of these guys because they be in the dms too i've seen them and they will fly you out for a quick hit of course they're not going to be able to they're not going to want to wife you no they're not it's going to be a fly but of course they're going to hit real quick though and because women have access to these dudes they're in the rooms with these dudes. They're in the clubs with these dudes. They're in the beds with these dudes or backseat of the car, wherever they make it to, right? They feel like that's their type. So anything below that, they ignore. It's very difficult for women to travel backwards. Once they've experienced a certain caliber of men, it makes it more difficult for them to go down in a social sexual hierarchy they just don't want to do it anymore because they feel like they they feel entitled to it because they had access to it right just imagine if we were smashing baddies all day it's going to be difficult for y'all to take one for the team for a 300 pounder you know what i'm saying it makes it difficult so that's what we're asking of women right and we have to take some of the blame ourselves as dudes messing with these chicks like purple pill said earlier that we know shouldn't that don't warrant our attention, right? So we are not supposed to be talking to these chicks, but you know how it go. A dude that would be considered a 10, according to women, will go all the way down to a three sometimes. They'll go all the way down just because it's low hanging fruit. It's easy access. It might be on a humbug. Maybe his eight or nine flaked on him, but he's still gonna get his rocks off tonight. So he'll hit that, he'll go down and get something because Women still flake on those dudes. That's just how it is because women don't care because they feel like they will always have access to it. So their mentality, they don't really go in with a scarce mindset like we will because they understand that there's more options. All they have to do is pick one. They get way too much access. So, of course, it's unfair, but there's really no way for us to correct that. When you're talking about uh, women who actually contact men or match that's five percent right of the opportunities that they have they swipe right five percent of the time men swipe right 50 percent of the time and guess what most of the apps the ratio is a sausage fest it's 75 percent males in a lot of cases 25 percent women 